Good evening, everyone. And like I said, we want to talk about winter cycling. We were kind of afraid of starting to talk about winter cycling because we thought, well, if we start talking about this, then we are the responsible for getting the snow here. Um, but it's November 20th, and I, I think it's high time to talk about um, winter cycling, even though we've been pretty lucky. Um, but we might have much more snow here any day now. And we know how much fun you had riding your bike in 2020. So many people had fun riding their bikes in 2020. And you want to make sure that you can have fun all year round. So let's talk about winter and cycling. Um, Monica, would you like to introduce yourself? For sure. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Monica, and I live in London and uh, pretty much on the verge of uh, Old East Village in Carling Heights. And um, I'm not a cyclist all year round yet, but I'm going to actually try pretty hard this year to get out on the roads during winter. Um, I'm usually a fair weather, weather rider, so uh, I'm going to try this year, though. We'll see. And the snow will be here before we know it, Luis. Yes, yes, it's true. And my name is Luis Patricio. I've been winter cycling for four years now, which and I've been in Canada for years. So that means that I started winter cycling um, the same week I saw snow for the first time. Um, and I don't know if this is because I didn't know what I was doing or was or what or, or I really knew what I was doing. Um, so yeah. Uh, and, and I think, you know, like there's so many things that we do outside. We do cross country skiing, tobogganing, skating, building snow forts with my kids, shoveling, you know, ice fishing. There are all kinds of things that we do outdoors and young, old, like all ages. And cycling is just another one. Um, and, and I don't think this should be, from my perspective, I don't think this should be so different from all the things we do outdoors. Exactly, I agree. So good news first is even though winter is coming, um, there's no need to hibernate, right, Monica? I don't think so. I mean, I think all of us have been hibernating far too much, uh, whether we've, we were forced to a little bit during this pandemic um, or whether, you know, we closed ourselves in. But, you know, uh, hibernating in the winter it is no good for all of us, regardless of any pandemic. Um, you know, it, it's our mental health, getting outside, enjoying it, no matter what activity we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. We always feel good when we're moving. And cycling for myself and for a lot of people we know is probably the best way to kind of get out there and get the fresh air in and feel good. It's great for your mental health. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. well, and, and keeping on the good news, we don't need any special gear or clothes for for cycling if if you are from canada um you know winter you know cold you know how to dress and you can do you, really you can do as much as you want there there will be um quite a few days in the winter as this always are that you know we'll have the slushy and snowy and windy but there will be the sunny days with clear pavement and, and it's just nice to ride so just the idea that you don't have to put your bike away for the winter, just, you know, uh, leave it there. You might get an opportunity and maybe give it a try. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we all know as Canadians, four seasons and we keep layering. That's all we do. So we go from when it's really nice and, <laughs> and hot to adding clothes each and every time. And that's all you do in the winter. So even in our winter, you know, we can have, uh, you know, even five plus days. And uh, so we take a layer off and we put a layer on when it gets a little colder. It's that simple, really dressing for the weather, dressing for cycling. Yeah, right. And um, and of course, it is winter and we need to be careful, but it doesn't matter if you're cycling, if you're driving, if you're even if you're walking, mm -hmm. you know that you it, it's a bit different, right? Like the way you walk, the way you drive and the way you bike. Um, and, and of course, also, you will need if especially if you're biking regularly you're gonna need to show your bike some love but we are here to help you so monica do you want to mention a few things that we'll be talking about in our webcast yeah for sure i mean we've got tons of resources for you you know there's lots of access to information on on winter cycling how to do it safe how to dress uh all sorts of different stuff so we'll we'll share some pretty cool stuff with you just to get everybody ready whether you're 
a full-time winter rider or whether you're just starting out like myself in winter riding, you'll, you'll get some more information. So the next time we see each other, then we'll talk about those things. We'll talk about how you give your, your bike some love and some accessories you can add on and things like that. Uh, lights, for instance, is just a big deal in the winter. We lose a lot of daylight. So, you know, so we'll talk about those kind of things. Yeah, and, and feel free if you have any specific question, if you're a beginner, if you're, you know, a veteran, winter cyclist, or what are the other terms? Um, frost biker. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. If, if you're one of those guys, just whatever you want to know, just just tell us. And um, just we, and we're going to share, as we publish this video, we're going to share a few links with you with some resources that we can start, you know, browsing around. There's another thing that I, I, I highly recommend. It's a very good read. It's the Frostbite book. This Frostbite. is from the library, and I'm returning this book this week. So the book will be available for you to, to read. And uh, it's it's fun. It's encouraging. It's very interesting um, read. It, it's not only the individual perspective, but also what cities can do to make winter cycling more attractive. And I think this is this is one of the topics of the conversation that we definitely want to have. Awesome. Monica, anything else to add or do you think we can wrap up here? Well, you know what? I know that we're also going to dive into, you know, what our roads look like in the winter and how to safely ride, things like that, or some trails that we can hit, special roads. Yeah, just to do it all safe. So we'll hit up a lot of stuff and and, and we'll do some more chatting. That's exciting. And I hope you see in the next um, webcast and enjoy your winter cycling. Bye, everyone. Bye.